This guy, he just came off the plane and rain stayed into the studio. He flew six, seven hours to get here. He's performing at a sold out show tomorrow. It's called Night of Roses at the Lake Elementaita. It's incredible. If you love live music, if you love a comedian, all of those is happening. One of the biggest comedians in the continent, period. Clint the Drunk from Nigeria. How are you doing? It depends on what I'm doing. Oh. Because if you're asking me how I'm doing, you should know what I'm doing first of all. So, so that I'll know what I'm doing and I'll tell you how I'm doing it. Like if I'm fighting, I'll tell you I'm punching. And if I'm eating, I'll tell you I'm using. What was the question again? How are you doing? Fine, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Have you even had time to sleep? Like you just came off the plane and got here. Wait, I want to find out something. Why do people get tired when they come off the plane? They jet, lag. Like, jet, jet lag. Jet lag. Is. Jet lag is not for people who hustle. Why? Because trek lag <laughs> is a bigger <laughs> lag in this world. If you trek from here to another area in yes. this country, believe me, you'll be tired. That is trek lag. Mm -hmm. Good. So jet lag, let the jet lag. And you, you are a human being. <laughs> you are sitting inside the jet. What are you like? You're not flying the plane. I, I fly in the plane. I don't fly like a plane. That is for witchcraft. <laughs> well, witchcraft and aircraft, all of them are craft. So whichever craft you decide to join, that is your own problem. Why are you called Clint the Drunk? Because that's my name. Yeah, no, that's not your name. That's not what's in your ID or your passport. You, to your greatest surprise, you see there. No way. Yes, okay, it's true. No way, sir. <laughs> There's no way. But actually, my name is Clint. Mm -hmm. I act like a drunk. Mm -hmm. So, Clint, the drunk. All right. But you don't just, well, you act, you're a comedian, you're a musician. Can you decide what you want to do with your life? Yes. What I've is that? I've decided to do all of them. I'm even, and it, I, I paint, I paint, <laughs> not like I paint house. Some people will now go and build house and call me to come. Why is this place so dark? There's so much light. You have shades on, Clint. Okay, sorry. You have shades, yes. I never knew. <laughs> Can you imagine? This is a new new beginning. Can you imagine? So much light in this world. <laughs> you can see clearly now. The I rain is gone. I can see clearly now. <laughs> what am I facing? This is the city of Nairobi. Wow, this is a beautiful window. It it's is. It's like the window of opportunity. <laughs> okay, sorry. I was facing here before. Can you imagine? I never knew. So, which of the buildings is your own? Um, we are inside it right now. That's so your own building. Yes. yes. <laughs> no, that's not what I'm answering. Exactly. That's now I'm the one interviewing you. <laughs> so, how long have you been in Kenya? No, I have been in Kenya all my life. Why are you asking me questions? Because you decided to give me answers. No, hang on. Wait, wait. Hang wait. on. Am I a hanger? Why are you here? You could do shows in Nigeria. Why, why are you, you here? Why do you can't come to Kenya? You, can't you do interviews in other countries? I have done interviews in other countries, actually. The same reason you go for those interviews in other countries, that's the same reason I came here. You see, you answered <laughs> on my behalf. That is wonderful. Do you know Nigerians have overrun Kenya? They're everywhere. That is the problem. They keep running. Now they have overrun. And they will run across. The musicians are here. Davido is here at the end of March. Mm. Uh, Aliko Dangote is setting up businesses here. Mm. Every musician. Yemi I'm, Elade I'm was sitting here. To, after the program, I'm going to be drinking here. <laughs> so it's not only other people that will be doing business. I'll be doing drinking business. I'll drink all the possible drinkable. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. Me. Hiccup. Hey, where's that DJ? He's not the only one that can scratch. He, he is scratching right now. This is He's DJ scratching. Uncle Paul. He, uh, Uncle? Uncle Paul. But there's a Paul in your name. Yes. That means your brother must be Silas. <laughs> Silas. <laughs> Wonderful. That's, yes, so he, maybe his brother is, is Silas. <laughs> you know, I don't know, but, okay, what did I say? You know, I don't know. We should know. Well, anyway, the reason I'm here, believe me, tomorrow, the Night of Roses, there is this program where the Night of Roses, mm -hmm. roses, if you see rose that night. <laughs> oh, so shocked. it's many roses, like one rose, two rows. A lady called Rose, so there'll be many ladies called Rose. Is that what you're saying? All of them. Lady called Rose, one Rose, two Rose. <laughs> Everybody that rose up this morning <laughs> will be there. Be but if you don't rise tomorrow, and you know by tomorrow evening, it will now be Rose, past tense of rise. That is the past participle 
of the first rising of the rose that rose when she was. What am I talking about? <laughs> I have no idea what you're saying, so let's listen to something you said before, because apparently you're here, but they want me to play something you said earlier. Okay, something I... So you keep I quiet. Hang on, so you keep quiet. You will hear it. Look over there, and we're going to play it. Over where? <laughs> so at this point in time, I'm going to sing. I'm saying... Sorry, what's the past party people of sing? Past, past party people. What past tense of sang is what? Past tense of sang is sing. That one is present continuous. We are looking for the adjectival phrase of the metaphor so that the simile will become an adjectival phrase. I don't even understand what I'm saying and you're there clapping for me. I don't know who is fooling who here. Yeah. Can you say past participle? Oh, that's you on the TV, by the way. See over there? That's live. Okay, I thought I was still the same thing. That's you over there. That's live right now, all around the country. Okay, so you people show live things. Live, live. But sometimes you show dead things too. <laughs> or is it only live things? That means you can show livestock. Yes. Livestock. <laughs> chicken, goat, cow. That means I'm now an animal. Yes, you're now an animal that's sitting you must be An the... animal called a mammal. Okay. Yes. And that means you are the bigger animal because you've been here even before me. <laughs> I'm a visiting animal. You're the in-house animal. You know, my producer said in my ear when you came in that he made me look like a dwarf. Wait, let me ask you something. Your producer said it into your ear. Yes. Which other part of your body does your producer <laughs> say things into? Is it not the ear they were talking to before? Why do you confuse people at home? <laughs> let me tell for the people at home, this is it. This is how I listen to them. Okay. That's why I say it into my ear. Clint, do you, do you understand now this thing? That must be Bluetooth earpiece. Do you know when you're arguing with someone and they don't see the Bluetooth, you look like a madman. <laughs> Does that happen to you regularly? Irregularly happens to me. <laughs> Believe me, it's not straight, it's irregular. When did you decide to start doing this whole drunk thing? Because it becomes you. I decided to start doing it the day I found out that they pay money for it. <laughs> if they call you a fool every morning, and once they call you the fool, later in the day they pay you. How many times would you want them to call you a fool? Every All day? the time. Do good. Ah. Fool. <laughs> okay, now my money. You call me a fool, so give me my money. I, what, did I tell you who was paying? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not the one paying. You go and collect the money wherever they... You actually... Hang on. When we stand, I do, I'm not that short. Come on, please stand. You see, I'm not that much of a dwarf. Okay, he's having trouble standing. He's... All right. Well, how come you're looking up to me and I'm looking because down he, on you? Because you have too much hair. Like, there's things going on. Do you know, I, I, I could, as my gift to you while you're in Kenya, I could give you a comb for free. Okay, now let me explain something to you. Please sit, you, you, know, you look like you're going to fall. Okay. All right, Houston, we got a problem. Okay, oh, wow, well I done. Made it. You made it? You know, the funny thing, you know when you don't have something, and you see someone that has it, you start saying bad things about that thing, so that, as soon as you give yourself hope, <laughs> he's saying he's going to give me a comb because of my hair. Look at him. No hair available. He has tried. They've, in fact, we've tried. We even sent you cream. But your brain sucks the cream. <laughs> with straw. It is not evidence of having money. That is lack of vitamin. Try eating <laughs> pineapple, purple. You know purple? Papaya. Yes, yes. Try. Eat all those things, they help. I'm going to definitely try Dr. Clint. I'll, I'll try that. Thank you. I'm a doctor, yes. Native doctor. Oh, good we're for the, you. We are the tribe that kill fowl <laughs> and tell you things that you bring that don't exist. One legged chicken that has four children. <laughs> the eye of a tiger that has never seen blood but eats blood. <laughs> then a leopard that has stripes like a tiger. Then when you're sure you can't get it, I'll tell you, pay me the money, I'll get it myself. All right. I think I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> He's, to leave it. You're crazy. I know. That's why I'm in your program. <laughs> wow. How many people come to your program that are normal? Say one. Just say one person. Me. Call one. Apart from me. You? Yes. You are like the doctor that takes care of crazy people. <laughs> it takes a crazy man to take care of crazy people. Don't you know that? <laughs> Do you All know right. why we're on TV? No, why are we on TV? Because we are not normal. Ah, okay. Normal people are outside watching the TV. All right. 
You just realized that your life is not what you think it was. My whole life has been a lie. Exactly. Wow. Because at night you lie down. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Clint, thank you for coming on. Please, I'm coming on. I didn't come on. I came in. I mean, it is a figure of on. speech, Clint. Why can you figure? <laughs> speech now has figure. Is speech a lady? <laughs> it, is, it is a phrase that people use. Phrase. Yes. They rephrase the phrase <laughs> because of framing. Meanwhile, everybody had to make sure you are there at the program. I'm going to be there with a whole lot of people to make your talent. talent, talent, talent. To make tomorrow a wonderful day. Valentine. Thank you. Whichever thing that you called. <laughs> it's going to be at, at the MLN. Element tighter. Thank you. The place where the elements are tighter than normal. <laughs> at the bush, we're going to have fun. First of all, I'm in Kenya. I'm going to go and drink it. But when you're drinking, please, leave the heavy drinking for me. All right. You drink well responsibly. Said. Okay. Thank you. I need to peace. You need to, okay, this is the way out. Peace, I'll, 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 that's the peace I'll, I'm I'll talking about. Peace, peace, <laughs> peace, yo. Whoa, this guy has aged me by like 30 years just being here. I'm, I'm yeah, out of time. I can see gray hair. I, you can see gray hair, and I don't have that much hair, but you have aged me. So thank you for coming on. The age gray hair is on your eye. This is, it's not Go your... away. <laughs> Cash cleans the drunk tomorrow night of roses. At Element Oh, hang on. It's sold out. You can't buy tickets. Sorry.